Hello beautifuls, it's Sharla here with Dragonfly Soul Healing. So I had a session cancel on me today and so I figured, you know what, I'm going to use this time to come in and see kind of where everybody's at energetically, um, what wants to come to the surface. I do have this healing begins energy coming forward and it's like the curtains have been opened and now that truth has come to the surface and it's allowing you to come in and, and do some healing work and so <clears throat> this feels really important right now for the collective and I feel like we're not we're in this place where we're really starting to allow ourselves to heal and bring a lot of truths to the surface um, getting that communication going as well with this Queen of Swords <clears throat> so there's this forward momentum that's happening and and a lot of it comes from that truth that's coming to the surface and so it feels like a lot of things are coming to the surface for us collectively a lot of sixes <clears throat> today as well like we have the six of pentacles underneath that six and I also have the six of wands over here as well this energy is interesting the way this person's bowing down to this angel um, the six of wands usually represents this victory, but this feels like somebody controlling people, which is interesting, but we do have that nine of pentacles. So it feels like <clears throat> you're coming to a place of understanding of where you're going and more fulfilled in where you are in life as well the nine of pentacles is that like independent sometimes represents that single woman but somebody that's building their life and worrying less and less about what people think on how they feel about you stuff like this and so we're really taking this energy of healing and and we're kind of standing in our position right we're holding our ground and communicating effectively and it's building these foundations the three of pentacles here like we're building new foundations we have the karma the karmic wheel the wheel of fortune here as well so events are about to turn and this is something that we were talking about on monday um when i made that video about the light workers is events are turning um depending on which side of the karmic wheel you're on we're going to see these karmic events play out. And so it's really important that we stay in this place of healing, staying true to ourselves. That's where this Queen of Swords is coming in as well, is making sure that we're really staying firm in what we believe in and standing our position and allowing these foundations to build themselves at this time. That karmic wheel is coming forward and it's, and it's exposing the truth um, in a lot of ways. And so this is a, a really good time to make sure that you're clearing out all those like skeletons in the closet and healing from them. So if anything comes to the surface on your side, that you're prepared for it. And I don't think that there's going to be a lot of bad things happening um, to the collectives that are awake. This is more about those of us that those of those of those <laughs> that haven't been um, really paying attention to the signs and what the universe is showing them. Um, and so there is going to be this karmic event happen where we're going to be pulled backwards. And so we have to just pay attention to those people that we're not like trying to give them all of our energy because we feel bad for them. This is not a time to like bow down to those that are lost <clears throat> in their chaos. This is a time to really stand firm in that nine of pentacles energy where it's like, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing and really like holding that power and holding that space for yourself so that others can, you can be the example for others really. The Ten of Pentacles also comes out here and it feels like, and I'm seeing it this last week in my own healing practice, but it's like when you are paying attention and really listening 
it's like we have this treasure chest of gold here it's like everything becomes really abundant and so you're going to start getting busier and things are starting to change a lot of fast movement we've got that knight of pentacles or knight of um wands sorry but this knight of wands you know it's a really fast energy where they they're really quick to make a decision but they're also quick to pull back out and like this hesitancy and so don't allow that hesitancy to take over too much right because it's like something's trying to charge into your life to like move energy and i think this comes from that healing as well the gaia's garden has been over here it says fruition abundance reaping what you sow um and so that's like a really good example of this karmic wheel that's showing up for us is like depending on where you're sitting on this this wheel right depends on where you're going and they're showing me these energies lingering around the wheel and that's this is that energy that's trying to come in and take over especially with the children that is coming to the surface a lot i've um worked with several children over this last week or so here where i'm having to close portals and pull entities and stuff off of these children so if your children are going through some crazy energy, whether they're super ragey, where they're feeling like sick, like they're getting sick, please reach out um, because I have many resources that I can send you to or book a session with me so that we can help clear your child's energy out because this is kind of that energy that's coming in at this time. And so we have these energies kind of coming in in our sleep state but I am being shown that they're they're using music and TV and video games they're using all different kinds of sources to get into the children because if the children are burdened so what they're showing me here is this child is burdened guess where our focus goes guess what we get distracted on we're busy trying to make them feel better because they're sick throwing up they got headaches their body hurts whatever this is that's coming to the surface <clears throat> and it's distracting us from doing our work and allowing ourselves to get to this place of abundance. And this is where they're like, okay, so keep this healing going, right? Again, standing firm in your boundaries and all this kind of stuff because we're trying to build foundations. And then we have these entities coming in and they're kind of just like, you see, they're kind of just like slyly sneaking in, trying to just be like, whoop just catch in there and and the children are much more susceptible to being hijacked at this time so if your children are going through something right now this is a really prominent time to book a session because not only will i be working in your field but if we have this going on i will be checking your home for portals and different things and actually working with your children as well um, to help them get a little bit more grounded in their space as well. So this is really important because it's showing up. Like I said, I have literally done on including my child, two, three, four, five, about six different children I've had to work on in this last week, pulling a bunch of energies and entities and closing portals and stuff like this. And so it's, it's, an, a really important time to pay attention to that energy that's coming forward. The eyes of beauty comes out positive expectations and clarity. And this one here, they're showing me the veil around her mouth, almost like mm, my son keeps coming home and he's made a couple drawings where the mouth is covered. And so there's something kind of forcing us to keep our mouth shut at this time. And and this can also, again, go back to the children, especially because it's making me think of my son, where there's literally energies trying to keep us quiet and keep us pulled away and, again, distracted. And so there's some beautiful energy surrounding us where we have... These pentacles were showing, being shown that our foundations are being built and we can't be getting too distracted on this. We just need to deal with the issue that's coming forth, especially with children. But even in yourself, just really paying attention to your energy field because um, I'm finding that we're getting a lot of hooks in our body. So when I'm tracking into something that's pretty big, all of a sudden I'm getting hit with a hook 
and I'm having to pull these energies out of my body before I can even finish working. And so like I'm saying this like distraction and so when I'm pulling out and working with some really heavy, dense, um, deep topics and I'm trying to clear things, these energies are coming in and trying to distract me and all I do is I pull them fucking hooks out and carry on with what I'm doing, right? So we just have to be mindful of our energy and watch where energies are trying to pull us off track, where distractions are coming in, especially if you're trying to, you know, do some meditating or anything like this where you're trying to connect to yourself and then you're being distracted. The Lady of the Gift also comes out here at the bottom of the deck, says generosity, receiving and withholding. And so I see this as this beautiful energy, that healing and, and that bringing in that abundance, whether it's with like your family, your career, your, you know, friendships, relationships, stuff like this. There's a, an abundant amount of energy around allowing you to heal these situations and bring in new energies. And then there's also that ener energy where um, a, a lot of healing. I just see a lot of healing happening here. There's so many crystals beside her as well, like a lot of... Um, clear quartz or something like that here in the corner and so crystals could be prominent at this time they could you know be asking you to just start picking them up and holding them for a little bit nothing too obsessively just getting in that energy shifting gears a little bit so this week from this time on I want you guys to be really paying attention to your energy field how does it feel? What's going on in your field? What's showing up at the surface? What's happening with your children? What needs to be done to kind of bring us back to center and allow ourselves to do that healing work without allowing those distractions to come in? So if you need to book a session with me, I will leave the link in um, the description for you so you can book. And also feel free to join my monthly membership where I'm bringing you guys weekly videos as well as the new and full moon energy updates. Um, just to keep you in the loop, right? Let's really start paying attention to our energy, what's going on around us, and how we are dealing with those situations. And reach out. When you don't know what to do or how to deal with it, this is the time that we need to reach out. We can't just keep ignoring the things that are happening because... There's a lot of fast moving energy. Time is literally just like disappearing and it's becoming more and more irrelevant as time goes on. And so we really need to just take this time to focus on what we need and mind our energy, figure out what needs to be shifted. And if you can't shift it yourself, there is many of us out here that are willing to help you. We're all standing in our power right now with you know, our doors open, ready to bring you guys guidance to make sure that you get through this time unscathed or as little as possible. Okay, so I hope this helps today and I will chat with you guys again soon. Take care.